Before getting into the video, I would like to preface this with one thing. I was editing this video when I got a notification from Miller that he had uploaded a video on the topic I will be covering, and I want everyone to know that no, this is not me copying Miller. I didn't think he was going to talk about the allegations as he mostly covers song releases and not much on the serious side of the EDM spectrum of news, but regardless, Miller covered what I would call a surface level synopsis of the whole situation, so this video will be a bit more in-depth into what the allegations are, what the general reaction has been, and the outcome so far. So if you have not heard already, on the 14th of March, several women came out with allegations against Dat Sick about sexual misconduct and assault. Some include rape allegations, forcing or misleading women to take drugs and alcohol, and bringing women onto his tour bus. One of the biggest pieces of evidence that has come about are the backstage passes. A number of people have been sending photos of their passes with writing spelling out Tulsa, which when reversed is a slut. And if you don't believe it, Dat Sick had tweeted, en route to Tulsa. Tulsa spelt backwards is a slut, which a lot of people have begun to associate with the passes. On the topic of tweets, Datsik had another tweet of his brought up where he made a dismissive comment about rape, which many people were not quite fond of. In response to the Tulsa passes, he commented that it wasn't him, but a member of his team that was later fired. The rest of the allegations about being drugged and fed alcohol refer back to two conversations and recounts of events stemming from a Facebook comment thread and an Instagram conversation leak. In the Facebook post, a user recounts finding their friend drunk, unclothed, and abandoned in the middle of winter, later having to take her to the health department to make sure that she was fine. They also recount that that sick had asked the girl to sext and that later had told her to never reply, as he was in a long-term relationship with his girlfriend, which would essentially mean that he was cheating. The other anonymous user posted a conversation of a separate incident from an Instagram conversation. In it, that sick was seemingly trying to explain the situation that had occurred the night before, though as the allegations begin to come out more and more, it seems that this may have been fabricated to hide what actually happened. And as of recently, even more allegations continue to come out, but not just from that sick. A couple of users also calling out snails with their stories, one saying that at a Jaws show, snails was pouring liquor down their throats and forcing himself onto women who were unable to understand what was going on. And even more names, some include Riot 10, Bear Grylls, Dubloads, Monks, and Jaws. However, from the people listed, there has not been substantial evidence, most of it coming down to guilty by association. Now going back to the Dat Sick situation, we have had two main responses. One on his Twitter where he posted a paragraph apology with what simply declines any of the situations happening, with similar responses on his Instagram and Facebook page, but as well as him proceeding to set his Twitter account to private. We have seen reactions from numerous people, including large artists and even labels. Artists like Leon, Mern, Coven, and Excision speaking out about the situation or speaking down about it. As for labels, Firepower Records have dropped Dat Sick with their statement on their Facebook page. We have also seen Dat Sick cancelling his entire tour, which is a big move. And at this point, only time can really tell what will happen. As for the general response from the audience, most people have split into dismissing that everything is made up or into saying that everything is true, which is quite divisive. This whole situation is still developing and honestly all I can really compare this to is like what happened with the Weinstein allegations. It starts with one and then hopefully we can get more evidence and people to come out about these claims to back them up. It should be prefaced again that most of these allegations are still simply allegations and in Canada we like to look at situations like this as being innocent until proven guilty. However, after messaging with one of the people who have brought up these allegations to light, I have been told that there are currently talks with law enforcement taking place with many of the women who have came out so we will probably see an update soon with the situation. I think at this point all we we will continue to see are more women coming out with their stories as well as possible announcements being made when law enforcement come to a conclusion with their investigations. To conclude, this phrase has been passed around a lot and it should be remembered that being popular or famous does not instantly make somebody trustworthy. Even if you're at a public festival where it might seem like everything is okay, you should always try to make sure to stay safe and to always be aware of your surroundings and the people you're around. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. Hope you all have a good day and take care.